Hello, my name is Mari, and I work with the Young Scientist Program at USC. Today we are going to be learning a lesson called Pumpkin Towers. First, let's start by thinking of the tallest thing that you know. Is it man-made or is it natural? Some of the tallest things that I know are the tallest mountain, which is Mount Everest, and it stands 29,029 feet or 8,848 meters tall. I can also think of the tallest waterfall, which is Angel Falls in Venezuela. It stands 3,212 feet or 979 meters tall. When I think of man-made things, I think of the tallest tower, which is the Khalifa Tower. It stands 2,722 feet or 828 meters tall. I can also think of the tallest statue, which is the Statue of Unity, and it stands 600 feet or 182 meters tall. So looking at those numbers, we can see that right now our man-made things are not as tall as the natural things that I showed you yet. So let's think about that. What types of people make buildings or statues? Usually it's either an architect or an engineer. Today we're going to be talking about engineers and what they do. So what exactly do engineers do? They design things, they build things, they test things, and they can invent things. So let's talk about this. When a big building or a large statue is someone wants to build that, how do we start that process? What do we think about as engineers? How do we do that? So let's look at the engineering process, okay? So how do engineers develop designs? First, they ask a question. Then they do research on what it is they're trying to build. How do they build the best possible option? Then they imagine a design in their head and then they plan it by writing it down on paper and looking at the different options they have. Then if they make it that far, they can create their design and test it. And if they need to, they can improve it and ask the question all over again. And that's how engineers develop their designs for these really tall buildings and statues. So our question for today is, how do you make a tower strong? So let's think about that. Some things that can help maybe make a tower strong are a wide base. If something's wider on the bottom than it is on the top, it's harder to push it over like the Eiffel Tower. Also, Engineers frequently use triangles when they're designing things because triangles are the strongest shape because the force that's put on triangles gets equally distributed to all three points. They also need to make sure that their designs are balanced. You want equal weight on all sides so it doesn't tip over or blow in the wind. And so now it's time for our activity. We're going to start by making our design. To make your design, all you're going to need is a piece of paper and something to write with. You can use a pen or a pencil or even a crayon or a marker if that's what you have available. And what you want to do is just let your imagination run wild. How can you make the best, strongest tower possible? Now that we've created our design, we can use any materials we have available at our home to build it. For my tower, I just grabbed some things that I had ready in my kitchen. Some toothpicks and Swedish fish. The next step in the engineering process is to test our design. Is there anything that you see that would maybe be better if you changed it in some way? We can test our towers by kind of pushing on them or putting weight on them to see if they stay standing tall. If they do, you can say that you have a strong tower.
One engineer who works closely in this work is Elizabeth Ruedas. She is a surface water and civil engineer who works with the California State Water Resource Control Board and the United States Environmental Protection Agency to create more sustainable infrastructure in the state of California. If you find that your tower can handle the weight or pressure that you put on it, congratulations, you've successfully built a strong tower. I hope this video has helped you learn how the engineering design process works and what types of things to think about when wanting to build a strong tower.